What's up guys, so we're checking out the rest of this ghost town here. Um, this is probably one of the coolest places James has shown me. So we're checking it out. Here we go. We've been do wanting to do a ghost town for some time now. This has to be the coolest one. There's two churches. This is the first one. This is probably one of the closest locations to Bodie, California. It's all done up, as you can see. And there's just buildings everywhere, guys. So we're checking it out. Bro, this is the coolest place you've ever brought me. I'm not even Jake joking. This is the coolest ghost town you've ever brought me. This is insane, dude. Holy shit, James. James, this is amazing. Is it cool if we go in some of them? Yeah? Bro, this is insane. This is honestly the best location we've ever done, me and James. This is amazing. Checking out here now. This is a big church. This is so cool, dude. Will you, would you be able to send me the photos of this? Of this this location? I'll mark that you took them, but I want to put some photos in Insta for this, for sure. This is cool, dude. This is probably one of the coolest locations I've ever done. This looks like a horse saddle. Be 
get all the steps because it could fall. As you can see, it's all uh, gutted up here, so I don't want to go too nuts because. James, this is absolutely amazing, dude. I can't believe you showed me this place. This is so sick. Nice. All right, we'll check this building out here. Doing a whole ghost town today, guys. We got a prison as well, so be sure to check that out. pretty empty but this is an old like western style ghost town guys Places as well, guys. Have to watch the slow grass. Look at that, eh? Yeah. You what? I don't know if there's trail caps. I didn't see any. Look at that, guys. There's even more buildings. It's insane. The decay and everything is incredible. Okay, so we've done this building. We've done, I think that's it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get you to get a picture of me. This is sick. Yeah, and try to get some of the buildings on this side too, James. Just get them all. What's going on guys? Exploring with Brad back at another adventure. So this time we went up, uh, we're back in Quebec. Uh, this is really cool for us. We we found an abandoned church. Um, Jane showed me this place. He's right there. Remember to check out his Woo! channel, Falls Through Floors. He's our buddy. I met him through Angelo. So this place is really, really kicking. There's lots of graffiti, lots of stuff going on. I don't really know like the deep history of it all. But I'm gonna check it out and show you guys some really cool stuff. This church is well kept for an abandoned church. Usually we go into places and everything is completely just demolished and destroyed. So with the condition this thing is in and there's some cool finds in there, be sure to check it out. Alright, so here we go. Let's start with the doors. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you saw, like, there's a big tower and stuff, like, in the top. Like, it's just incredible. But not only that, we have this view of the moon over the water. You can't really see it right now because it's starting to go down. But we actually had some really cool photos that we took later. So, anyways, let's get back at her. And we set up our camp stuff, so we're gonna be camping here. So we're pretty excited. It's pretty clean in here. It's really just, uh, yeah, it's pretty gutted and things like that, but it's it's got some neat stuff. 
but yeah, I've never seen an abandoned church that's like well capped like this. I know there's a bunch in the States. There's probably more in other uh, provinces that are just really kicking. I'm not really, I'm not really exactly sure what this was, but I imagine that the uh, priest or pastor um, would have stood up here. Really, really neat cross going up there too and some stuff. And as you can see, there's been people here for a very long time checking it out because there's this graffiti going up. Oh, we don't really know how, how they got up this high because like, if you guys see seen the road that we took to get here, it was just crazy. There's just literally, um, like it was just not safe driving. Let's just say that. We were able to get down it. Oh, wow, there's lots of graffiti and lots of stuff going on here. People and their memories of coming here. Just wow. Really, really cool. That's one thing I really dig too. I dig old churches. This church is about, uh, James was saying it's like a couple hundred years old or so. But yeah, it's really well kept. This is probably one of the coolest finds that we saw. Like, look at this thing, dude. What was that? So the organ is all still here. I'm guessing that this was all ripped out, whatever parts were, but like, I guess you would hit a note and hit it on these things. Just wow, that's incredible. You can kind of see the back there too. And then this is the top view that we had here, guys. So we're spending the night in this little ghost town. I think there are other buildings too, but they're pretty gutted. I'm so glad you were able to get those photos in time because the moon's moved, eh? It's totally shifted from the water, so. I got a good picture of you. That's sick, man. I wasn't able to get a shot. I got out there and it was too late. The moon had, uh, had shifted and all that. Yeah, wow. More to go, We've, we're doing a trip on the uh, Basically the early outskirts of Quebec for now. So we're doing that. We got an abandoned prison coming up. We got a bunch of other places on the go. Hopefully some time capsules because James has make, got the map going. But yeah, we're really, really amped on this. This is the very first location. There's gonna be even more, lots of, lots of good stuff for you guys. So I hope you can check it out. I really, I'm actually, I always dig graffiti. You find like uh, people write stories, people put their names, like just a bunch of different things here, so. Really cool. I'm not sure if the moon's back on the water. Yeah, I can't see it. There was actually uh, So when we first uh, we first arrived here. There was an amazing Amazing view of the moon and the reflection over the water and I've never seen it like that close up Like it was really beautiful, but James has photos of that. So be sure to check that out. They look really really cool We're hopefully we can get a lot of photos a lot of footage of just each place that we hit up um, I'm hoping that at some of these places I can find a little bit of history just to give you guys like a little info on them and stuff like that. So, all right, let's just go back down. Put your phones on airplane mode, stay in the battery. Just so you know. Airplane mode. Yeah, so we got all of our camp stuff here. We're gonna start a fire, to have things going, get things boogieing. Yeah, we're doing a campfire. Just lots of cool stuff, guys. So, anyways. I hope you guys really dig this adventure. I really like, I like a bit of abandoned everything. So we got to see this abandoned church. It's, it, it is really well kept for abandoned. Considering some of the abandoned churches that we have found where people just completely destroyed it. This place is pretty well hidden and pretty well kept. And the people that have come here obviously are respectable because everything is, it's not wrecked. It's all still here. We've got the seating, we've got the, Really, really cool um, organ in the top, top row. I think that's where James is staying. 
but yeah, like uh, be sure to be sure to check out uh, James's Instagram. He's really, really awesome at what he does. There's lots of different photos and different. Um, you'll see a photo and it'll have different colors, different. Like he does this thing where it's pattern. It does like it shoots a bunch of photos at once, and you can get really different perspectives of um, these abandoned places. So. Um, I hope you really guys, I hope you guys really dig this episode and uh, stay tuned for more.